what's good y'all it's your boy ross back in again with another video so i'm about to check out wwe top 20 loudest crowd reactions debuts in history we're gonna check this out i know this is gonna be a dope video it's kind of like uh the hype up series that i've been doing where you know we get like i do a reaction to like crowd reactions and stuff like that because the crowds are supposed to be coming back to wwe in a few months so kind of building up the uh momentum for crowds coming back to the live shows i'm looking forward to that wrestlemania was so much better because the fans was in attendance and i feel like the shows overall weekly will be somewhat better i don't know about raw i mean i'm sure it'll be better just because the crowd will be there to voice their displeasure of what they're seeing in the ring and what they're seeing you know in the backstage segment segments but it's cool just to have fans in attendance to give that lively feel to give that energy that these shows sometimes need so i'm looking forward to this i know there's gonna be some legendary um legendary clips in this vid so let's check this out appreciate all love and support and let's do this that's them in them MWO being in WWE at the time was at this time was, was pretty dope. You can hear the crowd's response to it. Well, maybe maybe we should give him a chance. Neither did I. He's choked up. Oh come on. He's emotional. They made their presence known during the NXT Tag Team Tournament. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was so nice when NXT invaded. Oh man, so nice. Super kick. He's oh no, it's no. This wasn't NXT invaded. This was uh when this was their first time actually being like uh on the on the roster. Like um this was when uh Drew McIntyre was NXT. He was the NXT champion, and this was kind of right before Drew got called up to the main roster. So this was them, the Undisputed Era, really showing who they are and what they were about to be for the next few years in NXT. It's belt in a big mix. Shift in the NXT landscape. Adam Cole, Ready or not, here I go. Scott Hall, they really ECW, where they find this footage? Wow. This is so some there's retro any footage. Tag team in the back that are man enough. Oh damn, baby! Look good for his kid. Even the history of NXT, led by that oh, man, the man. legendary Paul Ellery. Leads here. You're looking. Oh man, bro. Oh my God. What happened to those guys, bro? I really want to know what happened to the Authors of Pain, bro. I believe that was their name, man. They were so dominant in NXT. Who remembers? I believe it was like a triple threat match for the NXT Tag Team uh, titles. I want to say it was a triple threat. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, but that was one of the best ladder tag team matches I had seen since the Attitude Era, and they were involved in it. Oh, man, bro. They had so much promise, and I, I don't know what happened to the to the Authors of Pain. They they were they were hot. They were the next dominant tag team to take over WWE. Here we go. And look at this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Stick with me, Cole. Yeah, you get a vision. I hate to admit, Big Show was my pick to win it. Oh, Big Show! <laughs> he never gives up, does he? Dillinger, one of the most wildly popular. That's crazy, bro. He was so over because of the 10 gimmick, and he came out at number 10. <laughs> popular superstars in NXT. Black was still illegal in the middle. In the middle. What are you looking for? Black Star! Black Star! WCW wrestling. So what the hell is he doing here? Ladies and gentlemen, here's what we saw during the break. There's... WCW star Lance Storm, <laughs> the owner of WCW. It's all, it's all, it's all. We are issuing an open challenge. Yes, yes, a oh, thousand man. times, yes. Oh, man. 
Oh, they were so over too, bro. I'm glad they're doing uh, better in AEW, but they were so over, bro. They were so over, and they just did not put we the tag team roster was actually looking decent around this time, and they just didn't utilize their tag team division. They just kept putting the same matches with the same people. Like, come on, bro. A good tag team division helps, bro. It helps freshen up the show. And they just didn't want to use these guys effectively from NXT that were automatically over. NXT tag team champions. Limbs, this is top guy business. Whoa. Yes. Uh oh, I love it. Kyle Boar by many, Corey, as Dash Wilder comes in off the tag. Idea. And hey, look at that shot of the I love their finishing move. This was dope. His, his Nakamura's entrance, first time coming on the main roster is so dope. And listen to the crowd. Listen to that, bro. I'm getting goosebumps from it, bro. Listen to that, bro. Listen to that. He was so over. I walk to the Rocky statue. Okay. Yeah, seeing Almas, man. And here's Almas now. Again, they the really champion. didn't utilize him oh, good either. Uh oh, uh oh, I think we're gonna see it. So many Boom. NXT oh, stars in this compilation that they just did not utilize. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. Come on, WWE creative. Come Gotta on out better. here and give it your all. Three eyes, JR. <laughs> and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hell is Raven. Raven's down. And Raven's where did the hell did he come from? Hey, Ram. Hey, Ram. Hey, Ram. Hey, Ram. What the horse? Ram, what, what the, the hell? Came here tonight. A hometown boy from Montreal, Canada. Give it up for Sami Zayn. He was so over too. He was so over, bro. Of a lifetime. What? The rumors. Nah, that was dope too. Ronda finally coming out there. Ronda's point in the WrestleMania. Yeah, that that was pretty cool, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Ronda being there at the time when she was actually over as a face. That was a holy s moment for sure, bro. Ronda Rousey's Rousey is a solidified MMA former champion. She can legit whoop somebody, like whoop damn near half the roster's asses, men included. She can legit beat them up, legitimately. She's not to be messed with, and this definitely boosted up the women's division. It definitely boosted up the women's Inside. division. Oscar was live. Oscar was such a badass at that time too. Oscar didn't give a damn. I like that. I was. It got you intrigued for Oscar and in Ronda, bro. Oh my. Corey Ronda Rousey marched out. Are you losers or are you stupid? <laughs> 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 Look at how reception he was getting. Holler in the air back. Right here in Tampa. Tonight, there will be no more disguising my voice. Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care. I'm trying to figure out who that was. I'm sh I'm sure I know. I'm trying to figure out who that was. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Oh yeah! Dave <laughs> Page, Dave Page, the uh, like I remember that now. DDP oh, making ladies his entrance on WWE was pretty good. Yep. Welcome to Nitro. 
Yep, yeah, doing the Monday Night Wars. Being Ric Flair country. Oh, oh pedigree. God. Boo, Triple H. Triple H is pockets and Oh, this. This right here. I don't know why. They just did not. Uh, the booking decision of Sting coming to WWE just to lose to Triple H at WrestleMania was so dumb to me, bro. That was so dumb. You could have let Sting go over. It would have been nice. He was never really in WWE. He was always a WCW guy. You got Sting on WWE television. You have him at WrestleMania that year, and you don't put him over. Why? Why? Come on, bro. They should have put him over. It was cool to see him, bro. Never did. And Sting is Sting. Oh. oh my God. No, no, no. And this is when Dolph Ziggler should have had the momentum because he won the match. And they did. Oh my God. It makes me mad. These are cool moments, but it makes me mad because those cool moments wouldn't capitalize. When it came to pushing the wrestlers that needed to be pushed, Dolph was so red hot during this feud, and they screwed him over, didn't give him the push he deserved. Now, this was an epic moment. Goldberg showing up on WWE, this is so great. And they had his original theme music from WCW. That was so loud. Oh my God. <laughs> Big Show will go one on one with the great one. <laughs> yep. Y2J, this was a good debut too. This was a good dope debut. Jericho. This was a nice debut, bro. No, bro, this was so good too. Bro, AJ Styles coming in. AJ Styles! Oh my god! A mastermind of all This was nice too. Innovation. This was, yeah. This, I'm getting goosebumps from this because Working AJ Styles, be. bro, he, I didn't know who he was prior to, but definitely did my research. Dude, over a thousand conversion legitimately, formats. no pun intended, phenomenal <laughs> as a wrestler, man. Great wrestler and bro you can tell the the crowd was they ate this up they ate this up man uh, i was really confused on why they just introduced them at number three maybe not a later number but either way bro this was this was dope to see him his first match in a royal rumble like that was one of the highlights of this royal rumble for sure ah oh, man this is this ah oh. Just bring back good memories, man. I really wish WWE would have capitalized on these 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 epic debuts. They didn't. They kind of just let things kind of go by the wayside. But it was still cool to see these great moments. And, you know what I'm saying, go back to watch these great moments from the crowd just losing their S to, you know, seeing somebody debut. So comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite debut from this video, man. For me personally, I think one of my favorite ones would probably be Jericho. Because that was pretty dope. Because I didn't know what it was, like who was coming. I thought that was pretty cool. That was one of my favorite ones. Jericho coming out to, to The Rock during his promo. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a, that's a big moment because The Rock was really hot at the time so comment down below let me know appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace